The next section will discuss nonlinear functions. Definition Nonlinear function A nonlinear function is a function whose graph does not form a line. Examples of nonlinear functions include quadratic, polynomial, absolute value, exponential, and logarithmic. Quadratic function. A quadratic function is a function that can be written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c where a cannot equal zero. Examples of quadratic functions include y equals 3x squared minus 2, y equals x squared, and y equals negative x squared plus 5x plus 7. Definition Parabola A parabola is the graph of a quadratic function. One property of a parabola is that its vertex is the maximum or minimum value of the function. Another property of a parabola is that it is symmetric. For example, the graph of y equals x squared shows the related graph is symmetric about the y-axis. This is also the line where the vertex lies. Parabolas Graphical properties Parabolas may open upward if a is greater than zero or downward if a is less than zero. To find the x-intercepts of a parabola, ax squared plus bx plus c, we solve quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. How to graph a quadratic function. To graph a quadratic function, one, create a table of values to include the vertex and one point to the left and right of the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex equals negative quantity b over 2a. 2. Plot the points. And 3. Connect the points with a curve. Example. Quadratic function. Graph the equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. Solution. First, find the vertex of the parabola. x equals negative quantity negative 4 over 2 times 1. The x-coordinate of the vertex is 2. Plug this value into the equation to find the y-coordinate. y equals 2 times 2 minus 4 times 2 plus 3. The y-coordinate of the vertex is negative 1. The vertex of the parabola is 2, negative 1. Find a point to the left and right of the vertex by plugging in x values that are 1 greater and 1 less than the vertex coordinate. The two resulting points are 1, 0 and 3, 0. Plot the three points. 1, 0, 2, negative 1, and 3, 0. Connect the points with a curve to complete the graph. Quadratic formula. When y equals 0, a quadratic function becomes a quadratic equation. The quadratic formula helps us to find solutions to quadratic equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. x equals the quantity negative b plus or minus the square root of quantity b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Be sure to plug in the values of a, b, and c exactly as they appear in the equation. 
alterations can lead to incorrect answers. Solutions to quadratic equations. The number and type of solutions to a quadratic equation depends on the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. If the discriminant is greater than zero, then the equation has two distinct real solutions, x sub 1 and x sub 2. If the discriminant equals zero, then the equation has one real solution, negative b over 2a. If the discriminant is less than zero, then the equation has no real solutions. Example, quadratic formula. Find the solutions to the equation x squared minus 8x minus 9 equals 0. Solution, identify the coefficients of the given equation. a equals 1, b equals negative 8, and c equals negative 9. Plug the coefficients into the quadratic formula. x equals quantity negative negative 8 plus or minus the square root of quantity negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 9 all over 2 times 1. Simplify to get quantity 8 plus or minus the square root of 100 over 2, which equals quantity 8 plus or minus 10 over 2. The solutions are 9 and negative 1. Polynomial function. A polynomial is the sum of terms made up of numbers, variables, and whole number exponents. A polynomial function contains a variable expression that is a polynomial. An example would be y equals 3x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 4x. Absolute value function. Absolute value is a number's distance from zero. Absolute value is always positive. An absolute value function contains a variable expression that involves absolute value. An example would be y equals the absolute value of quantity x plus 2. Example, absolute value function. Graph y equals the absolute value of quantity x minus 1 plus 3. Solution, the vertex of the graph is negative bc or 1, 3. Find a point to the left and the right of the vertex. The two resulting points are 0, 4 and 2, 4. Plot the three points, 0, 4, 1, 3, and 2, 4. Connect the points with two rays that meet at the vertex to complete the graph. Exponential function. An exponential function is a function that can be written in the form y equals a times b to the x, where a cannot equal 0, b is greater than 0, and b cannot equal 1. An example of an exponential function is y equals 1 fourth to the x power. Exponential function graphs. Increasing exponential functions are known as exponential growth functions. If b is greater than 1, then the function graph is increasing. y increases as x increases. Decreasing exponential functions are known as exponential decay functions. If b is between 0 and 1, then the function graph is decreasing y decreases as x increases. 
logarithmic function. A logarithm is the number of times a base must be multiplied by itself to reach a given number. A logarithmic function contains a variable expression that involves a logarithm. An example would be y equals log base 3 of x. Base 10 logarithms. If no base is specified, as in y equals log of x, then the base is 10. y equals log base 10 of x. Whenever the base is not specified, it is understood to be 10. Natural logarithm. A natural logarithm is a log with e as the base. y equals log base e of x is the same as y equals the natural log of x. Identity property. Log base b of b equals 1. Example 1. Evaluate log base 8 of 8. Log base 8 of 8 equals 1 because 8 to the first power equals 8. Example 2. Evaluate log base 7x of 7x. Log base 7x of 7x equals 1 because the quantity 7x is the base and the answer is 7x, so the exponent must equal 1. Zero property. Log base b of 1 equals 0. Example 1. Evaluate log base 9 of 1. Log base 9 of 1 equals 0 because 9 is the base and the answer is 1, so the exponent must be 0. Example 2. Evaluate log base 7x of 1. Log base 7x of 1 equals 0 because if 7x is the base and the answer is 1, the exponent must be 0. Inverse property number 1. For b greater than 0, where b is not 1, the log base b of b to the x equals x. Example 1. Evaluate log base 5 of 5 to the 6th power. Log base 5 of 5 to the 6th power equals 6 because the base is 5 and the answer is 5 to the 6th power, so the exponent must be 6. Example 2. Evaluate log base x of x cubed. Log base x of x cubed equals 3 because the base is x and the answer is x cubed, so the exponent on the base must be 3. Inverse property number 2. For b greater than 0, where b cannot equal 1, b to the log base b of x equals x. Example. Evaluate 5 to the log base 5 of 9. 5 to the log base 5 of 9 equals 9. 